The man extinguished the last cigarette in his hand. He decided to go into a rehab center. But he didn't expect to come here. They're going to shave him. All recovering addicts here are categorized into three classes. First timers must be shaved. He has to scrub the dishes and sweep the floor every day. He had to sit on the floor to eat. If someone does well, then they are promoted to intermediate level. That way they're entitled to sit at the table and eat. Higher ranking personnel are allowed one home visit per day. The doors are open. No one will stop you if you want to leave. But those who come here stay by choice. Because they both want to get clean. There are some people who have no willpower. They chose to end their lives. And Yerge, he's a man of great fortitude and determination. Whenever he had a drug problem, he take out a picture. That's his girlfriend. He fell in love at first sight with his girlfriend years ago. And Yerge took her to a drug club. Girlfriends into drugs. Until the day, the club was inspected. One of the cops knocked Yerge down with a punch. So he's his girlfriend's father. He warned Yerge to stay away from his daughter. Or I'll kill him. But Yerge didn't take it seriously. He also provoked his girlfriend's father. The enraged father beat Yerge straight into the hospital. But even so, his girlfriend's father still hasn't been able to keep them apart. It's been two years. As a result of prolonged drug use, the two of them look like zombies now. But in this case, the girlfriend told Yerge she was pregnant. The man's expression changed changed from shock to surprise. He ran home. Yerge wanted to share the good news with his mother. But as soon as he arrived home, he saw his father brutalizing his mother. He tried to stop it, but his father beat him bloody. In the face of his father's verbal abuse, Yerge couldn't hold back any longer. He slammed his former medal against the wall. Yerge was very athletic as a kid. To the alcoholic father, these trophies are worthless. Then he came to the hospital to get stitched up. But he left when the doctor did. Yerge snuck into the pharmacy. He wanted to take advantage of the doctor's absence. Steal all the drugs with morphine. He was found by a doctor. As expected, Yerge was sent to prison. Compared to the bullying of fellow inmates, what drove him even crazier was that Yerge can't take drugs. Until the day his mother came to visit, he learned news that took his breath away even more. He breaks the fork and wraps it in breadcrumbs. To see his pregnant girlfriend, Yerge shoved a fork down his throat. The inmates found out. Yerge was rushed to the hospital for treatment. When he woke up from the hospital, Yerge's on his way to meet his girlfriend. But he was stopped by his girlfriend's father. A few months later, Yerge's out of jail. He arrived at his girlfriend's doorstep at the first opportunity. But there's cops all over the place. Yerge had to go back to the club. He found out that his last friend had also died of an overdose. My friend's funeral was very simple. The only people who come are priests and junkies. But to Yerge's surprise, the girlfriend showed up here too. Yerge saw his girlfriend. Yerge tenderly caresses his girlfriend's stomach. But the next moment he was pushed away. And then his girlfriend's father threw him into a grave. Yerge is a zombie. The girlfriend also chose to leave. Yerge made an important decision. He's gonna quit drugs for a change. It's very difficult to get clean. He's a longtime junkie. Physical and mental stress in. It's what made him take his own life. The mother found Yerge in time to save him. It's the same familiar doctor in front of him. But this time, Yerge wasn't like he used to be. Yerge begged the doctor bitterly. <sighs> He came to the detox center on the recommendation of his doctor. But it only took two days for his addiction to kick in again. He's sitting on the floor and convulsing. Whenever he's about to lose his patience, he took out a picture of his girlfriend, firm in his own convictions. In the most basic running training, he was spitting blood after two laps. He's back on his feet for the responsibility and the unborn child. He showed amazing determination. One year has passed quickly. Yerge's been transformed. And for being good at his job, Yerge was offered a job at the swimming pool. After working for a while, the curator also praised Yerge. It also authorizes Yerge to swim here for free after work. He swam and exercised here every day for the rest of his life. All the indicators of the body have fully reached the standard of normal people. Yerge's trying to prove himself and signed up for a triathlon. Competitive swimming 700 meters, ride 20 kilometers, running 5 
5 kilometers. When he's done with all the projects, the site has long been empty. But winning or losing doesn't matter to him anymore. To break through is the greatest victory of all. Just when things were looking up, he heard another piece of bad news. His girlfriend is dying of an overdose. Yerge looks at his girlfriend today. Yerge is very remorseful, but he couldn't do more. He had to kiss his girlfriend goodbye and leave. Just as he was about to leave, the girl sitting in the doorway. He gave him an inexplicable sense of intimacy. But just then, the girlfriend's father came up and took the girl. Yerge knows it very well. He doesn't deserve to be his daughter's father. To be fully worthy of a father, Yerge trained himself to the bone. He's giving his all in every training session. Under the high intensity of training, Yerge has been winning major tournaments. He even broke the European triathlon record. And he's got an invitation to a world-class tournament. When he came back to the rehab center, everyone's happy for him. In this moment, he represents more than just himself, it's all the partners. In order to do better in this competition, he's also set himself up for an even crazier training program. But Yerge never expected it. But at this very moment, an accident occurred. Yerge was hospitalized for a car accident. To stop the man's pain, the nurse gave him a dose of morphine. Yerge tried to stop it but it was too late. Yerge started twitching, as if with countless mosquito bites. Yerge just got clean. The reoccurrence of the addiction caused Yerge to hallucinate. It took a vision of his daughter to get him through the night. But even more unfortunate, because of the accident, he'll never be able to compete again. It's hard to even walk. But just then, Yerge was approached by his father-in-law. This time he didn't insult Yerge. Instead, it's a silent word. Your daughter needs a father. Yerge has a renewed sense of purpose for her daughter. He began to recover from his injuries. Yerge falls over and over again. But he got up every time. It's not how strong he is that he wants to prove. Just trying to tell his daughter he's worthy of being her father. Nine months have passed. Yerge recovers with strong conviction. It's still a month before this competition starts. The organizers have changed the rules without authorization. Changed the distance to double. Security considerations. Coach advises Yerge, who has just recovered, to give up the fight. Dobra, robimy to. Jesteś pewien? My się zastanów. To jest 8 km w wodzie, 360 na rowerze. Ja 84 biegania, wiem. Wiesz co mi lekarz powiedział, jak mnie ze szpitala wypisywał? Żebym uważał na życie. Bo się podobno śmiercią kończy. With the sound of a gunshot, players are rushing to the sea. Yerge is playing steady, staying ahead of the curve. However in the second half, the injury flared up and took him out of rhythm. He took a couple of breaths after he was rescued. He jumped into the water again. When he came ashore, Yerge is 10 minutes behind first place. Yerge's on the move again. He did his best to outrun one opponent after another. Finished the ride in first place. It's time for the long run. Yerge is sitting paralyzed on the floor, for his feet had long since been worn to a bloody pulp. He asked the coach for a pocket knife. Yerge cut his shoes to keep his nails from bleeding. Then he got up with difficulty and ran toward the front. With nightfall, Yerge is hallucinating again. He saw his dead best friend and his girlfriend. And a lot of junkies are coming his way. Standing in his way is the man he once was. He knows these people are trying to drag him back to hell again. However, Yerge is long gone from the junkies of his day. He blocked the devil's fist and then hit back hard. Applause from all sides brought Yerge back to reality. The finish line is in sight and his daughter is at the end of the line. He climbed up with his last strength and run towards them. After a few seconds of silence, he just realized he won the triathlon world championship. This is a story that really happened from a junkie to a world champion. He told us from his own experience, the biggest lie in the world is that you can't. It also leads us to believe that we are always stronger than we think.